So now that the framing is done, we're gonna move on to cutting this foam board insulation. The reason we decided to go with this specific brand is because our wood is actually only three fourths of an inch and this is one inch insulation. So we know that this will squish the perfect amount down when we put the plywood down for everything to be level. All right, so we have this leftover piece from the pieces we did up here at the front. I'm just gonna stick the piece of styrofoam like this. Then I'm going to imprint foil side down. And then you'll be able to see this line right here. We tried scissors, we tried this X-Acto knife and a handsaw. X-Acto knife definitely gives you the most accurate cuts. Then you're gonna wanna cut foil side down. Foil side up. Foil side up, you're right mom, thanks. You're welcome. I've been correcting you for a long time. I was literally <laughs> just thinking that in my head. <laughs> Break it off. Then you're gonna wanna do one more cut because of the wax paper. Bam, got my piece. Should slide in perfectly. Bam, bam, bam. That's how it's done. Mom, how's it going? It's exact. <laughs> Ooh. Girl, look at that body. Ah. Girl, look at that body. Ah. Girl, look at that body. Ah. Ah. I work out. So a big concern in buses with the flooring is why do we need to insulate it? Whenever you go to colder regions, because the floor is made of metal, when it's very cold, your feet will be freezing. So that's why we put in the frame, we put in this insulation to make sure that our little piggies are gonna be warm while on the road. We have the insulation, which is gonna increase our R value and keep the thermal regulation in. And then we're going to seal it with this aluminum tape just to give it that extra layer of protection. And go. Nice. Doing YouTube, right? <laughs> you need both. Yeah. What was I doing wrong? No, no, nothing. Nick, how are you feeling? Tired. Yeah, you need a boba tea. <laughs> So it works out pretty good. This, people say, is not a necessary step, but we feel that we really want everything to be insulated really well because we have problems with being hot at night. And so anything we can do to help with insulation, we're going to do it. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I want to talk to you really quick. We have one outward protrusion in our bus. We're not dealing with wheel wells, but you might be dealing with wheel wells. So what we found works really well and what I am officially suggesting to you, make sure that you are in fact going up onto the protrusion like your wheel well. In our case, this is the canister for the fuel tank. So just make sure that you are in fact adding protection to this and the frame itself. Dance party with that new flooring. Okay. <laughs> 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 our first injury on the bus over at Home Depot. But we got the plywood. We are working on our first piece here right now. We have these tubes for the AC over here that we have framed out. So Jacob is just gonna be cutting that little piece off right there to fit the tubing. Pivot, 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 pivot. Oh my God. Yeah. We're gonna be using these wood to wood premium screws to drill our subfloor to the beams that we have created on the framing of the subfloor. This came with a nice drill bit, a little star drill bit. Let's get started. And if you have part-time workers, you can go to Lowe's or Home Depot and purchase gardening gloves. It's the same effect, but it's third of the price. The plywood that we purchased had a little bit of, a, of an upwards bow on it. So when we're installing it to the floor, we're using all of our body weight to make it as level as possible. So 
as we're laying this plywood down, it's covering the beams on the framing that we already installed. So to make sure that we drill it into the proper foundation, we are adding these guiding lines. So we're just picking the spot on the frame that we know for sure. And we're just drawing a line all the way through to help guide where we drill in the screws. This right here is a full piece of eight by four plywood. Now we have another eight by four plywood, but since our bus is only seven, seven on this half, we have to cut five inches off to make it even. Um, but the reason we did it this way was so that the ends of this plywood landed on the beams. It does not look like it. this is very heavy, but it is extremely heavy. <laughs> <laughs> All of the subfloor is in, and we have beautifully reorganized everything in this corner, packed it all up. You know, we worked really hard on this. Hopefully somebody out there found this information useful. If you have any questions, we would love to answer them. We're all about building a community of positivity and support, so please don't hesitate to ask. Guys, the subfloor is done. We are so excited to be done with this chapter. And we actually just got the bus prepped to go on our first trip. It's close, but not too close. It's far, but not too far. Guys, make sure to stay tuned for more Jess and Jake.